Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about nested table. I already have explained you about collections in PLSQL, uh, the introductory video of collection actually. If you haven't seen that, I'll give you a link in description below as well as in my cards top right corner. You can get the link from there and you can watch that tutorial. Okay. So uh, today we are going to learn about nested table. All right. So, okay. So what if uh, if I'll ask to you what is nested table? What you can understand by this? the word nested tables then your answer will answer would be very simple a table inside the table which is actually correct yeah uh, the answer of uh, the nested table what is nested table is a table inside the table or we can say a table which is embedded within another table this is absolutely right okay but technically we cannot say that a nested table is something which is uh, we can say table inside the table or or a table embedded another in another table so technically we what will be the definition here i have written nested tables are one dimensional structure which are persistent and unbounded in nature okay uh, they are accessible in sql and plsql and can be used in tables records and object definitions all right and since it is unbounded plsql collection hence it can hold any number of elements in uh, an unordered set okay so here actually three things are there which we have to you know think about i'll show you the definition yeah nested tables are one dimensional structure so first thing is it is one dimensional structured second thing is this is persistent and the third thing thing is unbounded okay so one dimensional structure means it the structure of the uh, nested table is one dimensional a single you know dimension it is having okay persistent means it can be stored into the database we can use at the runtime as well as we can save it into the database and we can use it whenever we need it okay and third thing is unbounded i mean uh, the bounding bounding is not required here you can you know you can uh, call or you can save n number of elements in a uh, table uh, in nested table actually okay i'll uh, give you the syntax first i have written the syntax so what is the syntax you have to you, in we used to declare the nested table first so we have to declare it inside the declaration section so under uh, we have to write the declare first and then uh, here i'm going to you know declare the nested table so uh, you have to write the keyword type and the name of the your uh, the nested table the name of the collection nested table so this could be anything i i have written nested table name so you can write anything this is as per your choice then the keyword is and table of this is the keyword and element type whether it is varchar two or number or what okay so you have to i didn't uh, you have to you know uh, give the element type here and the optional section not null if you want it to be not null you have to write it not null okay so this is what the uh, syntax is i'll show you this thing with example which will clear all your doubts about nested table so i have written two examples actually so let me show you first example first so see the first example is under declare section what i'm doing i have written the keyword type and the the name of the table the name of the nested table my nested table i have written you can write anything this is user defined name okay then the uh, the keyword is table of and here i have uh, you know element type is number I'm, i want to store number type elements actually okay so you can you, we, we can write number or varchar or whatever the data we want to you know store in our table a nested table type that thing we could you know de declare here okay so this is what we have declared nested table first now we are we are going to create a variable you can write anything i have written we underscore variable then this variable is of which type this variable is of my nested table type okay so actually this this thing is acting as a data type okay so this is how you know you you made your own data type which is of nested table okay which is of table of number okay so here i have written then i'm i'm giving some value into it so how we can give it uh, you have to write the variable name then the data type here i have my uh, i have written my nested table and uh, the declaration you know uh, declaration symbol then again my nested table the same data type what we have declared here okay and the elements as i'm storing number data type number type of 
elements so i here i have written all the numbers what we want to call in our uh, nested table okay so this is we have declared our nested table uh, collections now under begin section i'm just this is a simple you know example just to understand about nested table so in begin section what i'm doing i i'm just printing the value of first element how how i'm doing this see uh, as i as i already have explained you about uh, uh, collections that with every element there is a index number associated so this is index number 1 index number 2 index number 3 index number 4 index number 5 okay so uh, irrespective uh, with uh, you know array array actually starts with 0 here collections uh, plsql collections start with 1 and we used to declare array in you know uh if you remember we used to declare it in uh, square bracket but here collections is getting declared in a round bracket actually so these are the two differences in array and collection okay so this is index number 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 so here i am printing first value so here i am giving the index number actually okay now let's take this example and uh, run in our sql workshop copy this and learn uh, run here paste and let me increase the font size yeah so as you can see i have uh, pasted the whole code now i'm going to run it so as you can see we got print as uh, you know first value 2 so at first place it found 2 so we got the value as we got the output as 2 so this is how our nested table work okay now let me show you another example so we can what we can do we can you know uh, we can call these things in our for loop as well okay so how we can do that i'll show you in my next example so here i have i have done the same thing in declaration section the same type i have declared and then uh, i have declared type then i have declared a variable which is of this type and i have assigned some value into it then in my begin section i have written a for for loop which will actually access all the elements of this you know of this uh, nested table how it will access for i in 1 2 you know uh, so this variable it will take the count of this variable and it will then form it uh, form a loop okay so it will take count count is 1 2 3 4 5 so it will take value as 5 because uh, you know count will come as 5 now i am printing here uh, using this package dbms underscore output package so here i first it will take first value so first it will take uh, you know it will find the value as 1 and then it will print the first elements here because the fir at first index we will get 2 so it will print 2 now it will uh, you know again loop will uh, run then it will it will find another value second value and it will print second element as 4 so so on it will keep printing till the you know loop will uh, you know get ended so let's copy this control c and paste in our sql workshop before that let me delete the old code and run uh, paste it and run the code okay so yeah as you can see we got the data as f at number uh, at index number 1 we have a value as 2 at index number 2 we have value as 4 and so on at index number 5 we have value as 10 as you can see here as well okay so this is how this is what nested table is okay so this is what we can call or we can declare a nested table inside our plsql block in my next tutorial i'll show you i'll let you know how to declare how to actually save this nest, nested table in our database and we can call the call it from there actually okay that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much